What's happening in Flow Niners? Um, I'm going to walk you through today just the steps for what I need you to get done in the lab today. Uh, just a quick note for you. Um, I'd recommend pausing every once in a while as we go through this video just because I'm going to walk through stuff pretty quickly and I want to make sure that you have time to kind of get everything internalized. Before we start, I'd recommend going to School Loop and logging in just so you can access the Google form that you'll be dumping all of your information in. Again, it's easy stuff, last name, first name, English period, history period, professional Gmail address, and the email address you use to register for turnitin.com. Again, this is what you're gonna have to submit by the end of the period in order to get your points for today. Um, but, 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 if you have it open the whole time, it'll be a whole lot easier to fill out as you go along. Open up a browser and you're going to go to Gmail. Uh, you guys are going to create a professional Gmail account today. Um, so regardless of if you have a Gmail account or not, uh, you're going to go up to this upper corner here and click create an account. And you're going to enter your first name and your last name. And you're going to choose a username. Here's the deal with the username. It can't be something like hella sick history teacher not a professional gmail um it also can't be something like ls is awesome not a professional gmail account something like carl.lindgren striker is a professional gmail account or if that ends up being taken you could always do something like where you do your last name first and then your first name second but it needs to be some combination of last name, first name. If you need to throw a couple numbers on the end of it, that's fine. If it's your birth date, if it's your date of graduation from high school, all of those things are fine. But, but, but you need to have your first name and your last name in the Gmail account. I want to see Happy Kids Six Five Zero. Not going to work. So you create a password. Oh, somebody already has my username. See, I've got to change it. We'll go to seventy nine. Cause that's the year I was born. Ah, oh, see, great. All right, and we'll create a username, password. Oh, I've got a sweet password. And to do your birthday, birth date, whatever. Um, that's not my real birthday, suckers. Ah, uh, gender, phone number. And then you're gonna to have to fill out this stuff on the bottom here just to prove that you're a real person. You agree to Google's terms of service and then you click next step and you'll have a couple more things you've gotta do and then you'll have a Gmail account. So that's the first thing you gotta do is create a professional Gmail account with a real Gmail address, like last name, first name, or first name, last name. Second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna, after you create your Gmail account, you're gonna go to your turn, you're gonna create a Turnitin account, which is the site that Ms. Press and I use to check for plagiarism. And here you click on Create Account, and you'll enter an email address here that you'll use to log in to Turnitin. I'd recommend using the professional Gmail address that you just created. That way, that way you'll kind of start tying things to this account. Boom. And the account I'm going to cre be creating is a student account, so click on that. Now, class ID, class enrollment, password. Check this out. We're going to go to here. All right, class ID 5413820. Class ID 5413820. Class enrollment password is humanities. All right, humanities. Your first name. Then you select a secret question, blah, blah, blah. Keep on going. You agree and you create a profile. And then, magically, oh look, Fluent Humanities instructor. Oh, that's me. That's awesome. I love it when a plan comes together. 